Um, so I do want to cover Bespin's article, and Meg talked about it a little bit uh, today. Um, is Tony Gilroy, did he direct five episodes of Andor? Uh, the story came out, and Bespin did a great job of covering this um, yesterday. He did okay. Uh, he did okay. I, I mean, I don't know about great. He's here in the chat, Jason. He's listening. Oh, he did a great job. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was really good. Really good work. Really, really good work, BB. He did a great job. I, uh, and what the way he uh, explained this makes total sense to me. Okay. And um, so he talked about the 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 uh, trailer coming out, and of course Tony Gilroy and and the whole deal with Born that, Trilogy. Espen does the bare butt minimum. That's that's what they call it. The BBB. <laughs> oh, sorry, the BBM. <laughs> Uh, it was revealed that plans had changed due to the pandemic. Gilroy would not direct any episodes of the series. So that's what we had learned, right? And then uh, along it comes, and according to Variety, Gilroy directed the pilot episode along with an additional four. Well, Variety, being a trade, has got people like, oh, wait, wait a second. Tony Gilroy directed five episodes. Woo, we're super excited. Traitors. The traitors. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> And then, then, uh, then Bestman goes on, and I think I think his take here is spot on. I think the way he interpreted this is um, is correct. So Bestman's it, got he, brains, <laughs> right? Uh, it says, uh, "Give him." Uh, uh, I just want to go down to the part that he, that he gets really, really good. Right? It says, "Perhaps it's a mistake on Variety's part." which I believe it likely is, right? He thinks it's a mistake on Variety's part. Uh, this seems quite odd given the credibility of the outlet, their connections to the studio and so on. Um, but, but here it says, Tony Gilroy did write the pilot and he wrote an additional four episodes, which is where he believes Variety has gotten things mixed up. I think this is the core of it, right? I think this is where, where Bestman absolutely nails it and, and helps clarify for us I don't and know. Make, make things I make think sense. Tony Gilroy's a troll. <laughs> He's like, oh, we didn't use the volume at all. And like two weeks earlier, Son of Wallenberg and Genevieve O'Reilly were like, yeah, we filmed the battle sequences using the volume. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about that in just a second, um, Meg. But yeah. Do you guys, do you guys think that maybe it's a bit of a poltergeist slash Return of the Jedi situation? Where the the writer literally directed the whole movie in the script and and was set oh. to direct it, then didn't get to, and simply was like, okay, do this, do that, and then so there's a bit of wires getting crossed here because it I kind of think that could have happened, where where you know because so much of it was already done in previs, so that stuff was directly all the previs stuff was di definitely directed by Gilroy, and then once you get beyond that. He's probably when they brought in the directors late and the, the late directors were probably told exactly what to do from a video conference phone, phone, phone situation. It's probably like right there, like a, like a talking monitor head, literally telling and going, Oh yeah, baby, that looks good. Gilroy like, <laughs> Gilroy like what you're doing, baby, you know, and stuff like that. Cause that's how directors talk, you know, he looks like that kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think Bespin's got it right. That's, mm -hmm. Wasn't it the that's guy my who story. owns Papa John's? Doesn't he make everyone call him Daddy or something? <laughs> they can call him Papa. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, he's the Papa John. <laughs> Gilroy was supposed to direct the pilot and at least two others. Gilroy was spotted at the uh, Corton Refinery during filming too. So, there you go. Mm, there you uh, go. There you go. Uh, hey, Star Wars dog! I've been. Uh, th this is on my. This is on my watch list. I do plan to get to this soon. Uh, so thank you for uh, bringing that up again. Uh, uh, yeah, Shaq bought Papa John's from Papa John. Shaq did buy several um, uh, chain uh, uh, franchises. I, I don't think he owns Papa John's, but he did buy. Several I am Shaq franchises. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I heard it. 